tuned into the State of the Union last night, you probably spotted a Virginia teen. Joshua Davis is from Midlothian. He's still in the spotlight after attending the address as First Lady Jill Biden's guest and getting a special shout out from the president. NBC 12's Washington Bureau reporter Jamie Bittner caught up with Joshua and his family there in the nation's capital. The past 48 hours have been a whirlwind for advocate Joshua Davis, from attending the State of the Union address to having dinner at the White House. And it all comes as he's celebrating his 13th birthday. It was very awe-inspiring. Joshua Davis, front and center at the State of the Union address, says he and his family advocate to lower the cost of insulin. President Biden acknowledging the teen as he proposed a measure to cap prices at $35 a month. He and his dad both have type 1 diabetes, which means they need insulin every single day. Joshua's here tonight, but yesterday was his birthday. Happy birthday, buddy, by the way. <clears throat> Earlier in the day, Davis enjoyed a birthday celebration at the White House, where he received a personal serenade from First Lady Jill Biden and Second Gentleman Douglas Emhoff. They sang happy birthday and gave me a cupcake. Who sang happy birthday to you? Everyone. The Davis family continuing their advocacy Wednesday at Representative Abigail Spanberger's office. Brian Davis says what the president is proposing would be a game changer for type 1 diabetes families paying thousands for insulin. A cap of $35 a month is going to help every family that is dealing with this disease or other disease that, diseases that require life-saving uh, medication. The entirety of the time I've been in office, he's been an advocate and <laughs> he's only 13. It's awesome. And I just wanted to say thank you for all you do for me and everyone with diabetes. Thank you. The Davis family returned home to Virginia Wednesday afternoon. Like many teens, Joshua says he has mixed feelings about all the attention. I'm probably not going to really speak about it at all because I just want this popularity thing to go away. <laughs> Davis tells me his advocacy won't end here. Lawmakers say they hope to find a bipartisan solution to high price insulin costs. In Washington, I'm Jamie Benner. All right, way to go, Joshua, representing the Commonwealth well.